Faced with federal and state roadblocks to creating a city-funded, supervised drug sup consumption site, San Francisco's Board of Supervisors have passed a workaround, legislation that will instead allow a nonprofit organization to open such a site. Ground Force Dan Kerman reports. San Francisco's Board of Supervisors has passed legislation allowing a nonprofit group to open an overdose prevention site. In other words, a supervised site where users can take drugs. It's the latest attempt to curb the rising tide of drug use and overdoses on the streets of San Francisco. If you're facing a, a, like a, a crisis, a health crisis of people potentially dying, you want to make sure you've created opportunities for people so you never lose them. And so you can reach them when they're not even thinking about um, coming in for treatment. Vitka Eisen is CEO of HealthRight 360, a nonprofit which provides services and treatment for low income Californians dealing with drug use and mental illness. She says there's room for treatment as well as harm reduction and supervised consumption. But we see it all of the same. Like we are caring for people who use drugs uh, when they're in what we call a pre contemplative state, when they are in an ambivalent state, when they're you know, absolutely on their path to a, a journey to recovery. While HealthRight 360 has been mentioned as a nonprofit that could run such a site in the city, Eisen says the main roadblock is funding. Staffing costs are considerable. So seeking a private donor who could fund overdose prevention services kind of unrealistic. Eisen hopes there's a way San Francisco can use some of the $30 billion California has secured through nationwide settlements against opioid manufacturers, distributors, and pharmacies to fund these programs. Dan Kerman, Crown 4 News.